In Wyoming, it isn't uncommon to see a car being pulled out of the snow by a friendly neighbor's truck. Ice and snow leads to stuck cars, dead batteries, and frozen fluids. Winterizing our cars may not make any of us a better winter driver, but at least we'll get stuck less. We should definitely make sure our fluid levels are correct. We have the right stuff in it. Um, check our batteries, tire pressure, make sure we got the right tires for the winter. Antifreeze should be rated for winter temperatures, and checking your coolant ratio doesn't hurt. Cracked and corroded batteries can leave you stranded, and of course, winter tires is a must. I've noticed over the years is when you're getting ready for winter, it's making sure that the tread depth is good. The tread and other additions like studs and siping are important for tires to grip ice and snow. Tires can be the difference between stopping or sliding when hitting the brakes on a patch of ice. One last thing to throw in there is air pressure. About every 10 degrees in temperature is one PSI. So in other words, your tires are going to be losing air pressure as we get into these colder months. We may not always think it, but even our big new trucks need chains, coolant, and other winterization. I would definitely still be winterizing, even with the newer cars. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of features. All drive does great. But if you don't have the right tires or the right fluid levels, you've got a lot of problems with the new cars. So There's plenty to consider when winterizing. Sometimes asking a professional what your car needs isn't a bad idea. Duncan Cowan, your Wyoming Link, Casper.